Undaunted North Africa is the second in the series started by Undaunted Normandy. And while the game is firmly rooted in the rules of Undaunted Normandy, Undaunted North Africa does contain some important differences. Undaunted North Africa introduces new types of actions, soldiers, vehicles, and structures. The new types of actions still work in the same manner as those found in Undaunted Normandy. Arguably, the most notable difference that Undaunted North Africa introduces are vehicles and tanks. Tank and vehicle cards are placed in front of you and never as part of the supply or deck. There are positions inside the vehicles for soldiers to be stationed. When a card is played, you can use it to fulfill a vehicle action, enter or exit the vehicle, or shift positions inside the vehicle. This occurs either before or after you resolve the action card. Keep in mind that if the seat you wish the soldier to occupy is, well, occupied, it means that you cannot take the card or vehicle action that is listed. You can only switch the seats. A successful attack on the vehicle results in an injury to one of the soldiers inside. If the number of damage markers equal the critical threshold level of the vehicle, it becomes disabled. When a vehicle is disabled, soldiers cannot perform vehicle actions. You must take a repair action first and return the vehicle to being fully functional. If the damage markers equal the integrity level of the vehicle, it is destroyed. Because the actions featured in Undaunted North Africa take place on a different scale compared to Undaunted Normandy, the forces are more asymmetrical in nature. The Italians are for the most part regular army troops. They have vehicles, tanks, and equipment that you might expect from frontline or reserve forces. The long-range desert group consists of smaller forces designed for movement and speed. They do not have heavy weapons to engage tanks, for example, but they do have fast jeeps, heavy machine guns, and explosives that work in raid-type situations. In Undaunted North Africa, the scale of the conflict is one person per counter. This is different compared to Undaunted Normandy, in which the scale is one unit of soldiers per counter. This is reflected in how casualties are created. In Undaunted North Africa, when a combat counter is removed from the board, you remove all corresponding combat cards from the game. This means that they cannot spawn again, unlike in Undaunted Normandy where this can occur. Another difference is that in Undaunted North Africa, you may take control of a tile even if an enemy combat counter is present. This assumes that they do not control the tile first. Undaunted North Africa presents new challenges for the Undaunted Normandy system. While the games are quite similar, the scale and focus is considerably different.